Hello and welcome everyone to this British English pronunciation lesson, which is slightly different to the other videos I'm doing. I have two sections to discuss for you today. Both are to do with pronunciating um, some difficult words in English, and I hope that I can really help you to understand better how we pronounce these. The first section is uh, from an excellent question from Camilla on WordPress, my website there, thank you Camilla, about how to pronounce words which finish in S, particularly plurals. It's not easy, but I'm going to try my best to explain for you. And then I have some words to pronounce for my lovely colleague Chantal. Hello Chantal, if you're watching from uh, my work. So two sections, um, lots of important words, and I hope that this will be useful. In order to understand better, please check the notes, which will be in the YouTube description or pasted below the video on other websites. So up at the top here, you can see the question from Camilla. Can you tell us exactly how to pronounce words which end th brackets e and s? I can't tell you exactly, but I can try my best. Here are some examples, and I'm going to break it down to explain as accurately as possible. So look at these first few there. Months, moths, cloths. And what we are doing here, so we've got that th sound. Uh, remember, it has to be soft. Th, okay, that, and then we're making the... Uh, like a snake, uh, a, a suit, uh, a soft um, S sound, which is quite clean. Months, moths, cloths. You can see the phonetics also next to the word, which hopefully will help you understand better. But then it becomes complicated. Look at the ones below that. For example, home truths, mouths, clothes bags. What we are doing here, it's a very small difference, but at the end we have the th. Remember to make that sound like that. You're putting the tongue between your teeth and breathing, not hard, but you're not really making any hard sound, just more like a breathing sound with the tongue between your teeth like that. But the sound of at the end of the, it's like a mixture of an s and a bit of a z. Think of a z like z, like a b, z. And sometimes at the end of some words, we are making a sound between an S and a Z like that. Listen again. Home truths, mouths, clothes, bags. Particularly that last one, bags. So this is what you have to do, and it's not easy. But with all of those, you have to do the first bit as it is. But then you have to work hard to pronounce both the TH plus the S or the S and Z. And this is something I think you have to practice a lot because it's not possible to, to cheat or to do it in easy, an easy way. You have to pronounce both the TH and then the final letter. So let me go through one last time. Months. Moths. Cloths. Home truths, mouths, clothes, bags. I think that it could be confusing, but it is not an easy one. And I think that it is not possible to be perfect. So good luck. And I hope it was helpful. But please ask me again if you have more examples that you need me to do. And so after that, I have a list of other useful words for Chantal, uh, which we discussed at work. So I'm going to go through these and again please check the phonetics next to them. They are below the words I just discussed. So let's go. Competencies. Competencies. Fundamental. Fundamental. Creativity. Creativity. Partnerships. 
partnerships technical technical organization organization professionalism professionalism clearly clearly spoken spoken written written relevant relevant detail detail and now something we discussed where words which sound very similar and I have to try to help you understand the difference word ward world so the first word it rhymes with bird it might help you ward rhymes with board so word as in I'm helping you pronounce words ward as in in a hospital there is there are many wards the one at the bottom world what can I do it is uh, really difficult you have to pronounce the L but not so clearly so we pronounce it world so it's different from word world you can hear a bit of an L but we are not pronouncing it completely just an, an echo of it really again all I can say is good luck it is not easy finally at the bottom reasonable reasonable I hope my video has given you a reasonable chance of pronouncing these words properly so good luck to you again I have covered these questions and I hope that it helps you to some extent so um, sorry I was distracted by something on my computer Again, I ask you, if you don't know already, to check the other websites that I use, my YouTube channel. There are many English lessons on there, all free. Please feel free to watch them. Please join my Facebook group if you want for other lessons. Everyone is welcome to join. You can also follow the Twitter account to get uh, new updates and the WordPress and Tumblr blogs as well. All of that here you are welcome to use so please do if you need to. Uh, everyone is always welcome to contact me on those websites. Hopefully this is another example where I do answer questions which are posted. Well that is all for today. Thank you to Camilla and Chantal as always for discussing with me and giving me some ideas. Thank you to everyone else for watching. See you next time.